what is going on everyone welcome back to another swift tutorial today we're gonna go through a quick video looking at how you can add blur effects to your app so what we're gonna be putting together is this view you see here in which we have a container content view there's an image in the background that has this blur effect over it and then we also have this image here in the foreground that we've made circular uh, and it really pops because of the blur in the background. So we'll take a look at how to put this together. We'll also look at how we can use a dark blur like the one you see here, a lighter blur, and basically how to get this working. So I know this has been requested quite a lot by you guys. Uh, apps like Spotify, Apple Music, and all these other bigger apps use it. It's a really nice visual effect. And we'll take a look at how to make it. So that said, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Get Xcode ready, get excited. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Let's jump right in. Quick pause before we get into the video. If you haven't seen it already, I am hard at work putting together iosacademy.io, a community where all of us iOS engineers can come together, learn how to build some of the top apps like Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, in addition to interview prep to land some of these iOS roles at top tech companies. So if you're interested in the free and premium content to come, head on over to iosacademy.io and enter your email address in the waitlist form and you will be notified as content becomes available. That said, let's get into the video. Let's get started by creating a new project. We're going to stick to a single view application template and let's call this my blur effect save it to our desktop and let's jump right in. So the first thing we want to do is create a view in which we can add a blur. So what I like to do is create a view up here and let's call this content view. It'll just be a basic UI view. And let's add this as a sub view by saying view add sub view, the content view, and let's set a frame to this content view in view did layout sub views after we call super. So we'll say the frame is CG rect uh, XY width and height. So zero, zero view frame size width and the height will say 250. And let's also give this a background color. Let's say background color. And we're going to say system, let's go with system green. And let's hit command R to build and run. And we should see our green view. And then we'll take a look at adding the blur itself. So uh, a good example that I like to give uh, when demoing kind of the blur effect is what the uh, Spotify app does at the top of playlists, if you're familiar. Uh, where they'll blur out the background image and then they'll add a circular overlay image of the artist or the album cover or what other uh, whatever other overlay they want to show. So the workflow is something as follows. We're going to have an image view and this image view will have a frame of, let's say, uh, X and Y, 0 and 0, width and height, let's say 150 and 150. And we're going to add this as a sub view of the content view. So content view, add sub view, image view. And we're going to say image view dot center is content view dot center. Let's say image view dot background color will be white. And then let's also make this image view circular by updating its layer properties. So masks to bound will be true. And we'll say layer dot corner radius uh, will be a half the height of the image view. So we have said 150 here. So we can say 150 over two, or we can just supply 75 directly. Uh, and let's see, that gives us an image view. And let's also set an image to it. So we'll say the image is a UI image and we're going to use a system image. Let's use bookmark, hit command R to build and run. 
and we should have a image view in the center of this now so it's definitely not in the center so let's make it be in the center let's uh get rid of this line which center is it and let's just apply the proper x and y so we know the width and height is 150 so the x is going to be view dot frame dot size dot width minus the 150 over 2 and the y uh, will be content view dot frame dot size dot height minus the 150 over 2 and we're still messing something up clearly so let's see what else we need to do so the x looks good the y looks good content view frame height ah uh, i see why because we are laying all of this out in view to load let's move this to uh after the content view has a frame set and things should be correct now like so and let's add the blur so to add the blur we want a background image uh so I'll be right back after I grab some random image from Google Images. So I have gone ahead and grabbed two images here of the beach from Google Images. So let's bring this into our project by going to our XC assets, right click, new image set, and the first one we'll call beach one, drag in our image. The next one we'll call beach two, and drag in our image like so. Now we want to add another image view into this green content view, but we want to make sure it's behind this uh, circular image that we have here. And then the blur effect will go over that background image. So to do that, um, we are going to say, let image view, let's call this actually background image view is an image view with a frame and because this will be the entirety of the content view we can say it's content view dot bounds we just say content view add sub view background image view background image view dot image is going to be ui image named uh, let's go with beach one to get started and most importantly, we want to send this background image view behind the circular image. So we'll say background image view, send sub view to back. And actually, I did these backwards. We want to say content view, send sub view to back, background image view. And if we just run this, we should see now that that beach view is behind uh, our overlap view. And now we can apply the blur effect. So this is what you all came here to see. To add a blur effect, we simply need to create a blur, which is a UI blur effect. And we can create it with a style. And there's quite a few to choose from uh, based on light mode, dark mode, how thick of the how thick of a blur you'd like. I just like the traditional dark one. After we have a blur, we want to say blur view is a ui visual effect view and we initialize this with an effect and pass in the blur and now on the content view we want to add this blur view and let's also set a frame to this and the frame is going to be the same as the content view dot bounds now the last thing we want to do which is pretty important is we once more want to send things to the back of the content view. So first we want to send this blur view to the back. And then we want to send the background image view to the back. So what this will essentially do is layer the views in a way where the blur view is on top of the background image view. So if we run it, now we get this really nice blur effect over the background of our container and it really makes our overlay circular image here pop. So this is very, very similar to how Spotify or even like Apple Music or any of the apps that use this blur effect use it to basically make uh, images blurred and make the foreground pop and stand out. 
So let's quickly take a look at what this looks like with the uh, other image we brought in, which was Beach 2. Should still look pretty nice. So again, we can very, very subtly like make out what this is. You can, of course, change your uh, blur effect to be something else. We can use light, for example, and you see that this looks pretty nice too, but of course it's the light version of the blur, but still looks pretty good for the most part. So that said, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't hit that like button already, make sure you do so for the YouTube algorithm. If you're new and enjoy the video, hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Comment down below if you have any questions, concerns, errors. I try to reply to every single comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.